Now, scientists have a wild theory. What if our entire universe is actually inside a black hole? This is called the black hole cosmology. Some scientists have the idea that our observable universe and everything we see around us might be tucked inside a black hole, which exists inside another parent universe or even multiverse. And then this multiverse could be part of a bigger one, and so on. Kind of like a stacking doll. Sounds like pure science fiction, but this is based on some curious facts. When scientists create the timeline of our world, they say that everything started from a singularity. If you kept squeezing a giant ball smaller and smaller, at some point, it would get super dense before it crushed. Well, it's hard to imagine, but in space, it's possible to squeeze a crazy amount of mass into a teeny tiny point. This point is called a singularity. The matter gets crushed into an infinitely small space, less than an atom, and it holds all the same mass of everything, while taking basically no volume. Inside this singularity point, things get so intense that the normal rules of physics just stop working. Everything we know – time, space, matter – breaks down and can't be applied anymore. Basically, what happens from now on is beyond our understanding. So scientists say that this was the starting point of our world. When the Big Bang happened, it's like this tiny dot with everything inside it expanded to everywhere. This started forming the universe as we know it. And here's the thing. Scientists assume that singularity also exists deep within black holes. General relativity says that a black hole is born when something really big, like a huge star, collapses under its own weight. Gravity gets stronger the bigger the mass is. With a mass of a huge star, tens of times bigger than our sun, this tiny point would have an unbelievable gravity. It's why it starts sucking in all the stuff around it and curves the fabric of space-time so much it looks like a hole in space. And this would be the center of a black hole. It's a dot where all these things fall into and get crushed into an infinitely dense point. So, could our universe itself be just a little singularity dot inside a huge black hole inside of another universe? Well, that would be wild. So it's not that easy to compress something so much that it literally warps space-time. You'd need to squeeze it like crazy. If you wanted to make a small black hole like a human size, you'd need to shrink them down to the size of an atomic nucleus. If you want a black hole the size of a chickpea, you'd have to compress our entire planet to that. But our universe is 99% empty space. There are trillions of miles of just nothingness between the stars. If you were to pack all the matter in the universe together, the result would be surprisingly small. Everything around us, including galaxies, stars, planets, and dust, would only fill about 1 billion cubic light years. It would be a cube about a thousand light years on each side. For comparison, our Milky Way alone is 100,000 light years in size. That's how sparse the universe is. But at this density, it would also be very, very massive. The resulting mass would likely collapse into a black hole. And here's the wildest part. The resulting black hole would be roughly the same size as the universe itself. It would also have the same mass and energy, as well as the same average density. The size, or radius, of the black hole grows together with its mass. The more stuff it eats, the bigger it is. But the density works the other way around. The black hole gets less dense as it grows. For a size that big of our entire world, it would be pretty sparse as well. And it's not the only coincidence. We have this thing called the Hubble radius, also known as the cosmological event horizon. If we imagine our observable universe as a giant bubble, then think of its edge hmm. like the farthest part of the universe we can see. When you stand in a field and look around, trying to see as far as you can, your eyes will draw a circle. This is like that. There might be more beyond that point, but we'll never know. Beyond this horizon, the light from distant parts of the universe will never reach us. That's because light travels at a certain speed, and the space between us and those regions is expanding too quickly. It's like running towards something while super strong winds try to blow you away. Until we stay on Earth, we're cut off from those far-off corners forever. 
The black holes have something eerily similar called an event horizon, or the Schwarzschild radius. This is the point of no return. This is the imaginary line that's often depicted as a light contour around the black holes. Anything crossing an event horizon, falling inside, is lost forever. No light, no matter, no information can escape from there. Black holes' gravity is way too strong, so they're perfect space vacuum cleaners. And as we mentioned before, if we create a black hole the size of the universe, they would have the same mass and the same event horizon radius. Now, while some scientists think this could just be random coincidences, others believe it's a clue that our universe might actually be inside a black hole. The theory also suggests that our universe might not be the only one. It could exist in one of many black holes scattered throughout a large multiverse. In this crazy model, each one of them, both in our world and our parent world, could lead to its own universe, with its own set of physical laws and structures. Now that would be some weird chain. There's this theory that says that universes could be born inside of black holes, sort of. It's called the Einstein-Carton theory. This idea talks about singularity as well, but in a different way. It says that, instead of collapsing into an infinitely dense dot, the matter might create a wormhole. This is like a tunnel through space and time. This wormhole, also known as an Einstein-Rosen bridge, could connect two different places of our universe. In that case, one side of the tunnel is the black hole, and on the other side, there would be a whole new universe forming. So it could work like a teleport. As soon as you pass the event horizon, you travel to the new world. But in that case, there should be an exit. Some scientists made it up and called it a white hole. It doesn't literally exist, not as far as we know, but it could be possible somewhere on the other side. It would serve as an exit of a wormhole, an area where matter is always ejected instead of pulled in. So it's like, you can't throw anything in there, it would get expelled immediately. That's all purely hypothetical, of course. All this stuff fits well into the concept of the big bounce. This idea says that, instead of our universe beginning with a singular Big Bang, it bounced from a previous state of collapse. Remember the squeezed ball analogy? Well, maybe there used to be another universe ball that got super compressed to a minimum size before rebounding and expanding again. So instead of a universe born from nothing, we might live in one that's a cosmic recycling of another. There's also another version of this theory sometimes called shockwave cosmology. The idea says that the Big Bang could have been caused by a boom inside a black hole, and this could create the expanding universe we see today. As the universe expands and the matter density decreases, the black hole would eventually transform into a white hole, the reverse of a black hole, where matter is expelled instead of pulled in. But even though we have all these interesting connections, they're not evidence. There are no experiments or observations that could prove or disprove these wild theories. So they all remain speculation for now. But at least it's fun to speculate. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.